The final ten years of Mozart's life saw an outpouring of his finest works, all still performed frequently to this day. The last symphonies, the piano concertos, the operas, chamber music and choral works, all admired by scholars, performers and concertgoers alike for their creative genius and humanity. He produced these works often under conditions of financial hardship, having broken free from the employment of the hated Prince Archbishop of Salzburg, poorly paid and, as with so many composers before him, having the rank and status of nothing more than a servant in the courts of Europe's wealthy princes. One earlier work of Mozart, dating from 1779, stands out and is a foretaste of the great things to follow. This was the Sinfonia Concertante for violin and viola solo with orchestra. At the age of 23, Mozart produced a masterpiece of maturity, ranking alongside the great piano concertos in its invention, intensity, both dark and light, and revealing ideas that he had learned from hearing the finest orchestra in Europe at the time, at the court of Mannheim. It is a remarkable and unique work of exceptional beauty. I do hope you will get to know it, if not already, and read some more about it in blog number 15 on my website. Thank you.